Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a trending section for your e-commerce store. A simple way you could create this and it will be automated in the future. Two key steps, we gotta create the category, tag everything in that category, and then step two is create the summary block so it shows up anywhere on your site that you want it to. Plus, I'm gonna show you how to look at the data to actually create this section because it is a manual process, it's not an automated process. And once you see the data, how you can then go back and create this trending section based on the pages that are most visited on your site. Okay, so here we are on my demo website that I'm working on. What we're gonna do is go to shop and you're gonna see here we have like seven random, random products. We've already created a new arrival section. We created a bestseller section. Those are categories that now fall here. Um, so I have other video content on that if you're trying to do that, but this process is gonna actually be quite similar. Few different things, but basically the same overall. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is I'll go to my home section here. I'm gonna click on pages. And then once I'm in here, I'm gonna go down to shop. Once I'm at my shop here, there's two ways to do this. I can set this up as a new category, or I could set this up as a featured products list. The difference is this, the key difference to think about at least right now, um, there's a lot of ways to do this. So this is just probably the main one. If you actually want the trending section to show up in this category list, well, you'll then want to set up a category. But if you don't want it to show up there, you could use a, another feature in Squarespace, which is the featured product. And then we could use that to scale this. I'm going to do this video with the featured products look and feel. But if you want to do it as a category, you'll just set up the category and go from there. So once I'm in here, I'm at my shop. I'm going to click into this. I'll go to all products. And then from there, I'm gonna find the products that are trending. Now, how do we actually find the products that are trending? Let me show you. You're gonna to go to analytics, and then you're gonna to go to site content. Now, this is a demo website, so there's no data here, but you'll go to custom, or you'll go to this and change it to what you like. Currently, my site is set to custom for the last three years, which is what I want. If you want the last 30 days, 90 days, uh, last, six months, year to date, any of that, set that up how you want to decide on the right data. But let's just say I want to do as long as possible, three years, take a look at it, and then go from there. So when I'm here, there's going to be all these bar charts here that you'll see all your pages. And then you'll see down here, the pages in the same order. What you'll do is you'll just go through and look for the products in your store. Uh, and then just start to list those out, write them on a piece of paper, pull up your Notion account, or just keep this open and open a separate tab to do the rest of the work. But in here, you're gonna see all the pages. So let's just say this first one that says blog was actually the store product and it was like the watch product. The second one was the shoe and then the third one was, um, I don't know, something else. So based on the number of views, it's organizing this page, that shows me what's trending. From there, we'll be able to take the next step. So I'm gonna go back to where I was just at. I'll go to pages, I'll go to shop, I'll go to all products. Once I'm in here, I'm gonna find the products that are trending. So we said it was the watch. So I'll click on the settings wheel and then click edit. And then what I'll do once I'm in here is I'm gonna select an organization, or sorry, visibility. I'm gonna select featured product. If you're using categories, you do it up here. But if you're using the featured product section, you'll just turn this on. So the green shows, then hit save. Boom, good to go. I'm gonna do that for one more product here. I'll do it for the shoe, edit, visibility, featured product. Oh, it was already on and I'll hit save. Now just bear in mind, you can't use this for multiple things. Like you can't use it for like bestsellers and then something else. Whatever you use it for is just one thing. Featured, whatever featured means to you. In this case, featured to us means trending. So once that's done, you go through your products. Yes, it's manual, but you do it once, you're done. Once that's done, what you can do is you could then go into any page on your site and add a section. I'm gonna go to the home page and I'm gonna add a section that shows the trending items. So here I'm gonna click edit. And then once I'm in here, let's just say I really want to add it right here as the first section of the page. I'll click into this and then hit add blank section. Once I do that, I'll click add block. 
And then from here, I'm gonna type in summary and drag that in here. So I'll give it a little bit of space. I'll drag this all the way to the end of the grid. And then I'll do one more block, which is gonna be a text block. Click and drag that in. This will be the title. So here, I'm just gonna put trending products. And then I'll do the emoji. Let's do this. Perfect. Let's see, I'll do it that font size right there. I'll make this as small as possible. And then I'll just drag that right here. Depending on how we wanna design this right, you have full control. I'm just gonna leave that like that and then make this a little bit smaller. I'll actually be changing it more in a second. But for now, let's go into this section here, this summary block and do some work. So I'll click the pencil tool and it'll bring this up. So what you wanna do is go to select a page and select your shop you'll see it's starting to show products, which is awesome. Then you can go to filter items, boom, just like that, featured only. So these are now your trending products, perfect. Go back and then we'll go to design. You could add metadata if you want, this is category and tags, but for now I'm just gonna keep it simple. When I go to design, I'm gonna use a carousel because that has the best look and feel. Number of items is the total number of items if they scroll through that you wanna show, it goes up to 30. So I'll drag that up to 30 there. Um, maybe I might just have 10, but it doesn't really matter. If you only have 10, it'll only show 10. Items per row, three, perfect. Aspect ratio, you could do auto, which is cool, but I like controlling it so it's consistent. So one by one is great. You could adjust text, font size, all of that. Down here, this is where you could, just depending on how you wanna build it, few key things. Oh, actually, and then header text, because we already have trending products, I just get rid of that and then it goes away, we're good to go. So in this case, you could have the image, maybe you wanna like remove the image and you just wanna show the title of the product um, and also get rid of the excerpt, maybe even get rid of the pricing. Maybe it's just like the names are really clear, cool. But in this case, I definitely wanna have the image so you can do that. And then you could show the price as well. So people can see the featured products or the trending products right away. Uh, and then you could do quick view if you want, more about the metadata here, and then if you wanna add a background color as well. But just like that, we've created it, and it's showing up this tall, let's see, that's as small as I can make it, okay, cool. And if there are more products, they'll just fill in the space here with a little arrow if they need to scroll through. Cool, good to go. Let me play with this section just a bit. So let's go to white um, for the background, and then I'm gonna do format fill screen now i'm just going to do it really tight and then i actually might do it like this so there's a little bit of space at the top and a little bit at the bottom cool so now this is a trending product section that people can see i'll hit save it's good to go anytime you add something with a featured tag or sorry the featured button toggle checked on you'll be good to go it'll add it here solid if you remove it, it'll just remove it automatically. So you could create this, add this anywhere on your site, and now you have trending products on your page, on your site, and it just makes your site more dynamic. It makes it 2022, and yes, it's a little bit manual, but if you don't have 7,000 products in your store, it should get done in a few minutes. You could see this video for me is 10 minutes. When it's edited, it's probably gonna be eight or nine minutes. Really quick and easy to get this whole thing set up and built in just a few minutes. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.